Hi guys, it's me. I am Stacey J and I'm sitting outside my nail place. <laughs> it's that time again to get the claws sorted. Um, getting rid of Christmas. I've just dropped in. I'm not in my car. I'm in um, a Brendan Foot car because they need to fix the faceplate of my stuff. A car. Car's a car, man. So I'm in a dinky little red one again. Um, I think they still had me signed up from the last time I was in it. <sighs> I'm just thinking about what colour I'm going to get my nails done. I do like a little shimmer in my nails. So let's see. And I did like it, but I've got to get them trimmed. The girl at uh, Brennan Foot says, don't get them trimmed. Just push down hard. I went, yeah, I just get a magnet for my pins, but it's, you know, face... You put your nail in that way to get your face moisturizer on and everything is just uh. anyway so i haven't been on for a while but i will get on i've been up north i do have some trips trip things to send you especially going through the desert island desert road desert island the desert road which i love full of mountains and pylons anyway so i best trough off in there in case she is ready for me let's go let's see what my nails to come out like hey it's me i'm back i just spent some time with my nail lady from kids nails nail kids nail nail kids nails care <laughs> i'll put in the description yeah no, don't have it with me on me right now and i did get a little bit of a trim there's my nails. They are pink. Blingy pink. Nothing like a good claw that shines. So I'm back home and I am just laying out um, <coughs> little Caleb's um, school pants so that we can get him comfortable for his school days. He apparently doesn't like his pants he wears. And they don't have a school uniform pants, but they have a colour they must be, which is navy blue. And as you know, I bought a ton of navy blue fabric. So I am getting it all laid out. I've cut off a strip here. Um, I've cut, here's the main bulk fabric is here. And I've cut off a strip here because it's just... It's um, playing havoc with the width of the table. So I want to do it bit by bit. Give a little bit by bit on my own. Okay, so I am going to lay those. I'm going to cut two of these out, remember? I'm going to try and do two at once. Um, I do have another fabric that I am going to make for him. So he's got more than one pair or two pairs. Got a beautiful soft fabric. Actually, I might beat him to that and have, make something for myself out of it. It feels just gorgeous. So these fabrics were just like $12.95 or no, these were $16 a meter, I think. $15 a meter. Which is a bit expensive from where I got it from. However, it's the colour he needs. And that that's the most important thing so i'll cut this out and then i'll lay it again and lay it again i should actually well the fact is i can't really cut it out more than once because i'm just going to keep folding it over and um then he'll be a happy little camper because he'll be comfortable in his pants none of the stiff cotton drill stuff that you know us as grown-ups like these will just be funky pants but with no funky on them because they've got to be school pants. So, yeah, so we're going to do that. And um, get over to the overlocker. Might, um, for, because I don't normally put, um, I don't normally have four threads in my overlocker. I'm going to put four threads on this. And just give you a demo of the difference, maybe, maybe, if I'm up to it. Am I up to it? It's like my second day back. Yesterday I played with um, valances that go on the bottom of the bed. The valances. Um, valance. 
that's for one of the guys that used to oh that dad used to know from the men's shed um i went and saw him last year and had them he's got his family coming over he's currently in perth so when i finished those up they were a horrible treat to do so i had to unpack all the bias binding on the bottom then i had to trim it all by well i couldn't even say it was two and a half centimeters off the bottom because um because it was made factory and everything was crooked so i took it from the top i dropped it down 33 and a half centimeters from the from where the pad meets the drop and because i had to measure it off an old pair because that's that it was just too too long obviously by about two to three cent two and a half to three centimeters and um yeah and i'll get him to come pick them up when he's back from perth i'll send him an email and say it's ready but because then i had to sew the bias back on that was fun because unlike the machine they had i don't do it all in one hit i make sure i do it one bit at a time and fold it over it looks neater i would say than it did that's my problem it looks neater and so i spend more time on it anyway that was all good so mr christopher's home today he's putting new cameras in our on our property um our old camera thing sort of died uh, the thing that stores all the stuff so he's in there <sighs> doing that yesterday he had to go to the pool and fix a few things and then when he thought he fixed it well he did fix what he had to fix and then when he thought he was going to come home he got a call saying that a pipe had burst or something had burst at the pool so back to the pool he went okay so so far I would have had, this will be the second half, okay, lined up nicely, a little bit of wastage, but you know, you're going to get that on anything you make, I should really pin it down, but, or get a rotary cutter, but Stacey Jay's just winging it. So when we went away, we went away for the weekend, um, it's the first time I've been away I think since we've had Mabel, that Christopher and I have been away together. You push past Mabel, you're, you're good. And um, so that's the first time we've been away together because we've had Mabel. And then, of course, we got Willow. And I got my little lovely, lovely son, Alexander. He came in house sat and he got to use the spa, which was really good because sometimes feel it's not used as as urgently as we were required to buy one, if that makes common sense to you. We had to get it, we got it, we put it in, and yeah. So there's one hole of it cut out. And cut that off, and that won't be good for anything. They'll cut off. I'll just leave the scraps here because they'll do for the little um, cuff, little cuffs. They could probably fit the little cuff in. So I won't throw them out a gels yet. And that goes there. And then I'll put it down again and we'll keep going. So forth and so forth. So anyway, went up to um up to Telpo and um watched Joshua, um Queenie's son, watched him race. And oh I'm not into car sports. I'm really, really not a car my car's black well actually it's currently red because um i have to we just got the screen getting fixed i think i might have mentioned that anyway um so we drove up to Telpo, which is only about four and a half hours and we tuned in and we organized a place to stay um, which was right near where Queenie had. Now they'd booked last year when the when the um Challenge Cup came up. And um so yeah, we drove up there on Saturday dumb o'clock morning and went to the grounds and watched them race. It was um exciting when you know somebody who's racing and scary when you know that he's the same age as your eldest child. And uh, petrifying to know as you've watched them grow up. Right beside your, you know, not not close, 
because we came down here to Wellington. But, you know, I've watched Joshua grow up from a wee lad. Well, <laughs> from a baby. He was at my house as a baby. And he would never open his eyes when he was at my house. I swear he didn't have eyes for the first time. I don't know. It's quite funny. Whenever he was there, he was asleep. Because his mama told him to. He always does as his mama tells him to do. Anyway, so we were there um, and we watched him race. And um, then we came home. We had cocktails. We had rosebuds. Rosebuds are something that I was introduced to the week before at Lisa's. Um, my base is just um, vanilla vodka. Very drinkable, but you don't get drunk on them because you are actually, um, there's a lot of juices in them. So yeah, I'm not a drunk juice drink. Yeah, anyway, but tasty. All went to bed really early. Mr. Christopher was asleep by 8 o'clock. I think I went to bed at 9. It's a little bit funny. And the next day we went there and he had two races. Um, and in the first race, his car and another car met on the first corner. I don't know how many laps in. It might have been... It was ten, that was a 10 lap race, so it might have been lap 9 or lap 8. But either way, he held it, he stayed in the front, he held it, well not in the front, but he stayed in front of that guy and he held it the whole way through. So um, very, very awesome. The guy came straight over to the car and said, you're right mate, you know, and apparently they've kissed before. Metal on metal. So yeah, and it was... Um, and then the last race he did, it was close to 3 o'clock. Well, I don't think we left until 3.30. We got home about 7.30, quarter to 8. And, um, yeah, so it was very intense, the last race. It was only eight laps. And uh, he was he came first in his, in his class, I think, third all round. I think, I think, I think. Don't hold me on it. Um, but, oh my God, it was just spectacular watching him. And even when, you know, you saw him after the two cars hit, he just, he was like, yep. All good. Everything's fine, you know. And it was just like, wow. Wow. Mama wasn't so fine. Neither was Stacey. We were just all... <laughs> I would have actually had it on camera if I wasn't staring at the track. I did video a lot. I actually videoed, yeah, I did a lot of videos. So did Chris. So, yeah. But, yeah, that's, that's what we were up to on the weekend. So, you'll see a little bit of a golden glow on me. Because, um, although I 15, oh, some blocked up. Um, there was still some radiating radiators that came through. Oh, speaking of radiator. <laughs> came home on Sunday night and because I was trying to do something I don't remember what I was trying to do and he was trying to do something or Chris was um I didn't put on Reacher which is what we've been watching because we're up to the right up to it now and um so I put on cars <laughs> Because I was excited to watch it. Because Radiator Springs is where they were. And it was Lightning McQueen. And there was a little Lightning, Lightning McQueen car on the track too that was racing. Which was awfully cute. So I was like, oh my god, oh my god, it's Lightning McQueen. <clears throat> car pow, car chow. Anyway, so that's me. I'm going to stop prattling. I just wanted to get on, let you know what I've been doing for the weekend. Because I think it's been a few days since I've, since my last confession. And um, yeah. I'll get these cut out and get um, young Caleb's pants for school made, which will make his mama happy. Right. See you later. Good afternoon. It is now half past three and I have not one. Not two. But three pairs of pants for wee Caleb oh, can you imagine remember that your kids were that small I probably would have had to make it a meter longer for Alexander not so much Samuel 
but definitely Victoria as well. Oh, I never made them clothes because I was too lazy. So I've got three pairs of pants now for young Caleb for school. And we've just pulled out the fleece so we can make them a fleecy ones for winter because down in Dunners it gets a bit cold because down in Dunners apparently it gets a bit warm too. So got that all done. I feel really tired. I slept until about eight. I've had eight and a half hours sleep last night. A bit broken, but they say my little bottom did not get out of bed until after eight. I wake up, I went, oh my gosh, I thought it might have been seven. It was eight o'clock. Got my nails done. So, oh, look at it shimmer. And I got my little, oh, flamazos on. Okay, so I'm going to go now. Guys, I want you to stay well, warm and dry. And I want you to keep cool, keep on sewing, hydrate. Look a minute, this is, this is me hydrating. Hydration. Mm. It's got massive big ice cubes in it. Apparently it can last a long time cold like that. So hydrate and of course have no regrets. No regrets. I'll catch you guys later. Take care, please. See ya.